Welcome back, everyone, to episode four of us playing as uh, Julius of Ola in the Roman Empire, and I was having a good old time. So, um, right now we're at war with the Austrian Empire and the Donau Adria, but we're doing all right. Um, someone says, uh, uh, from the comments from the last video, they needed to redo it late game Italy. After you conquered much land, it seems the base Kaiserreich system of puppeting and military occupation. It's just not compatible with most Italian conquest playthroughs and doesn't take into account actual claims around the Mediterranean, including ancient Roman territories. I had the exact same issue with the recent run as uh, Fasci. Whenever they forced me to pop up sections of Italy far after the United Italy as a whole, that's very strange, but we're doing alright. Maybe not so much against Austria, but against her puppets and the Duchy of Illyria. Definitely, definitely, definitely so. So, we're here to beat them up, beat the crap out of them, continue expanding, capitulate all their little puppet allies and whatnot. Oh, I guess we also have quite a few guys encircled up here too. But here are the casualties. Uh, Canada needs to die, and we're still waiting on that, but, um, 71,000, not bad. We've lost how much? 163,000, which is quite a bit. Also, we're fighting the Liberians, too, so. Is that to keep in mind, too? Ooh, that's not ideal. Anywhere else? Now that's ideal. And we have a cup of tea here, too, and, like I said, we're fighting the Liberians, and we're down here. We're doing all right. Not great. Just all right. Anything else here? Just sub stuff, yes, please. Uh, and technology stuff, sure, why not? Doing okay, they keep throwing in more guys here and there. Uh, where are you guys at? Ah, you guys did fantastic. Uh, here, come over here, and even though fighting over here really sucks, it's okay. We need more manpower too. So next up, we're gonna go probably to service bar requirement. Ooh, maybe not. More war support. Oh, okay, Liberia's gone. Goodbye, Liberia. You, oh, they got the USS South Dakota. But now we do. Fantastic. Uh, guys, come here. Good luck. We might need that. Oh, wow. They found a lot of combos. They sunk a lot of destroyers. Um, very cool. Very nice. As Austria is slowly falling apart, which is awesome. We're going to need more divisions to take out the Kaiserreich. Or, yeah, basically. Better Liberia. Happy June, everybody. Oopsie. Say of Liberia, founded by an American company under the wish of bringing American blacks back to Africa, has always been in a peculiar state. Under. Uh, uh, the loose control of the Americans for years, the country is now falling before our might. Liberian identity is strong, and trying to annex them directly might prove itself inefficient. Officials in the country calling for the establishment of a loyal Liberian state instead, what should we do? Nah. It's alright. Actually, at this point, you must just do this. Breakthrough. Solid United Front. Nice, 1944. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Probably need more planes and whatnot, fighters, casts, it's pretty normal. Uh, infantry stuff, artillery, no, nothing really there. So putting up more rubber stuff too, which is good. So if we can take Vienna, that'd be great. We'll see. Not doing so well down here right now, unfortunately. And okay, never mind. There you go. What do you got here? Shove them in there, and then 48 subs here. They're probably not that good at all, but whatever. And 70 subs there. There you go. Ta da. Pretty nice. Are we still fighting? The Entente, of course. Canada will die off fast enough. Poland's looking extra long. And the rest of the Reich's back here. So we got to take out the Be uh, Belgrade pack next. Eh, I guess you're going to go back this way. You're going to fight in the mountains here. Now. Do that. Do that. Are you guys going to come down there? I'm going to sacrifice... Uh, the Greek part of our country here, just for all this. Recruitment here, no. 
We got a lot of stuff around here, don't we? Steel. Fate of, what do you mean by fate of Central Italy? That makes no sense. Rubber? Oh, that's definitely worth doing when we have the political power for it. Uh, nuclear slots. It's not bad. Anything else? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Super heavy armor. Go and grab this one next. And... Cool. So, we're still doing this, which is fine. We're using a regular cavalry for all that stuff. Both Republic of Kutia using the German flag. All right, then. Passive defense and whatnot. Well, we're going to need to come over here and do that. You're going to come to these guys and go to these guys, too. My god, are we gonna need more manpower? Do we get weekly manpower at all? I don't think so. Real quick before we do anything else. Ooh. We've got a lot of resistance. Compliance is not as high as I'd like it to be. Eventually it'll get better and better, but still. Because we really do need more divisions. Ooh. You have less than a thousand, so there you go. You have the least, so there you go, too. So we took all these guys out, but we didn't get any penalties. Alright then. Well, I guess we'll see what happens next then. Can we go in? I guess so for now. Better move in faster when we can. Especially when they are sending a lot of divisions south, which is fine with us. I think here, six destroyers, convoys. Don't destroy the ships too hard. We still need them. Tarana, yes, that'd be nice. Anything else? We've lost, what, 28,000 already? So, well, I guess against ah, yeah, that's to the Hellenic Republic is not even doing anything. And sculpture is that enough to capitulate, you guys? No, we need niche. Oh, never mind. Okay, we got them all. Romania wasn't even the war, so we took them out too. Wait, why can't we take all that? Hello? Yes? Thank you. Well, yeah, back on here. Oh, the Greeks came back. Oh, that's weird. Well, let's clean them up first. And back to more planes. Yeah, we're gonna need a gigantic army to help just like hold the line against the Germans. That's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt. We got a lot of roads to build up too. Once we get enough compliance though, it should be okay, but it's gonna take forever to get enough compliance. Yeah. All these tiny little areas here, whatnot. Oh. All these areas we gotta build up all this infrastructure in. We don't have to, I guess, technically. What else are we gonna do with our, you know, industry after a while? Uh, we got claims on these guys, Ottoman Empire 2. Yeah. Yeah. Ground attack, I like ground attack. It's air attack fighters and carrier fighters. Should really do air attack for those. That's fine. Alright, Bulgaria, you wanted to be. Oh, are you in the Reichspact or. Oh, they are in the Reichspact, dang it. 
Alright, that makes things a little more complicated then. Alright, is there anyone else we can take out? It's not guaranteed by the Reich's Pact. No, I guess Istanbul will have to be next then. Go figure. You know? Um, yeah, so we got to build up a bigger, gigantic army. And wait for these guys to take out Canada. And, yeah, I think that's the next big step. Well, I figured the uh, Ottoman Empire was probably better to try to tackle first before anything else. Um, they've lost a quarter million. We've lost 34,000, which is actually better than I thought we've lost so far. Can we do anything here yet? Maybe. Maybe. But we're doing alright. We've sunk a lot of things. We've lost a couple ships here and there. Um, but, yeah, we're doing we're doing alright. Overall. Medium caliber pop shells and whatnot, so... Just keep on going, 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 going. Istanbul. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of a tasty little thing right here. You should probably help out here. You should probably stop attacking from this direction, in all honesty. Adrianople, yes please. Uh, I can keep attacking there if you want. There you go, goodbye. They attack us, we attack them. We're on the full frontal assault. We're still trying to recruit more uh, population here to uh, fight for us. So, we're getting there. Ah, good. And they've now lost almost half a million. Infantry anti tank stuff, Martyrland night attack. Get that infantry in there. Slowly in there. Poru demands Antofagosta. Let's be declared war on them. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You can have that. I don't really care. We're actually doing really well over here. Of course, it's the Ottomans. They're not, you know, stellar, stellar, stellar opponents. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I guess we do Drell the Rosno Uranium Mine. They're free, not a really free one, but you know, for the cost, it's not bad. Tons of convoys are dying now, which is fantastic. Um, what do we have down here? So, you guys are all down here. One united front, please. You guys go in there. Right, follow Constantinople. The city of Constantine is ours. Fantastic. Uh, losing quite a few combos here and there, but you know what else is new. Ooh, a couple of extra ships, yes, please. Ooh, they're attacking us there too. Interesting, interesting. Follow Boston. Oh, wait, is there still a war with somebody? Or... Okay, stay there. We got the city, I don't want to lose it. Oh, New England has capitulated. I guess it's... Hey, they're back on the roll. Nice, on the patrol. Ooh, the Arctic Cowboy is not ideal. We're doing all right. Our advances have stalled a little bit. Let's, let's see. There you go, there you go, there you go. Better naval stuff, thank you, thank you very much. Boom, boom, boom. Doing well here, let's slowly get through there. Um, who else, who are you? Because you guys are there, you're going to go over there. You guys are there, you guys are down here, that's fine. You're going to do this. Because right now we're just grinding on the line, and I don't want to waste any more manpower. Because we're still mobilizing, which is good, but, you know, cost stuff. Steel works? More steel? Sure. In the meantime, supply is probably pr pretty bad. Boom, boom. There you go. Just in case. Let's go look see real quick. What do you have here? Mod, 10,000 manpower. They're on all adult serve. We might eventually have to go to that, but we'll see. Start doing that. Uh, get down to there. Get down to there. Be good. Oh, hello? Where did you guys come from? Oh, come on. Oh, well, this is good. I'd rather we be able to do this anyways. Good. Very nice. Well, I, mean, I guess if you're there... They're doing kind of well down here, too. And we got some air bases here. Definitely some air bases. The neighbor apartment's fine. Get some more air bases. 
You have as many planes as you can through here. Tons of heavy ship holes. Tons and tons and tons of them. Oh, yeah. Good. Beat the crap out of them there. That's very nice, very nice. Do this, too. Do you still have more? Oh, yeah. Now I can make some more convoys. Artillery, just in case. And see what we can do. They're all be green, but, you know, we'll do the best we can. We should have air superiority, which we do, which is great. We don't have a ton of damage, but we're working on it. Wow, this is really sucky. Well, Alright, that's going to be a failure then. So, we're going to keep fighting through here. So, uh, we got all the way to India, and we were able to peace out, but I did uh, use comms commands. I annexed Muscat and Greece just so that we don't have to deal with the New World. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So, because I just got tired of it. I'm just tired of dealing with the New World. Without getting anywhere with it, so we can go to war with Baratia Kamium because they were just flying on us, and they still are. Uh, so I managed to just fight against them. We're building on more divisions. We don't. We have a little bit less than 900,000 manpower. Uh, we need an ease of conscription, but we, we're not going to. It looks like the Baratia Kamium is doing very well in trying to take out the Princely Federation. So we do need to go to war by the 25th of June. In the meantime, I've been trying to deploy way more planes into the field just because we're going to need. We're going to need a lot of planes for where we're going to go. For what we want to do. Oh boy. We need a lot of planes to take out the Germans. Um, because uh, they're pretty thick. Also, we did get a few more cures here and there. Such, for example. Let's do this first real quick. Um, Tunis. We spent 50 political power, so now they're a core. It's a quick little event, and I didn't figure it'd be worth doing that. Libya as well, which is fantastic. Uh, other than that, I don't think very much else. Yeah. The economy is doing very, very well. I think I am just fine on you guys too. No, I'm not. Okay, that's not good. But then again, it might take forever for this, so we'll see. Can they win a win within a month? I hope so. I really do hope so. Because then we gotta go to war with the Germans. But it does give us more time to get these guys ready to go, so. And you know what? Scourge is gonna go anyways right now. We'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Bartia Commune, they've lost a quarter million to them. We've lost about 13,000. 13,000. Well, we're here to rack up the casualties. And looks like we might have made an instrument already up there, which is fantastic. Plenty of political power. War propaganda? Yes, please. Uh, sure, sure. Center of the army. We don't have enough stability as is right now, too. So, very, very good. So, they're 52%. We're out. Oh, now we overpowered them. Which is great. Uh, lost 32,000 versus 200,000 almost. That's very, very good. And the alliance is going to start crumbling here. Hopefully. That's a good hope and goal. As we are going to make more divisions here. And we also made level 4 planes finally, so that's very good too. Homing torpedoes be good, very good, very, very good, very good, very good, very good. Like equipment, probably not going to really need to use. We get some marines because we can. Oh, look, an encirclement. Almost an encirclement. Very nice. A few more technologies of research, but not too much more. Ah, the front lines could be, be like, dead. I dare better really uh, destroy the supplies. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good right here. Oh, Joe Biden. Losses, and we contribute 66% of the total. And they're at what? Uh, so we're going up for us. Over a million casualties, of course. But what else is new? Well, everyone, we've done it. We've gone to war with the German Empire. Well, I expect. We've lost 82,000 so far. And where are we at? Oh, God. we got to capitulate Africa. Well, we've delivered over 600,000 casualties to the Germans. We're actually doing okay. We were, st we were starting to lose here, but then we took out Bulgaria. Now we're actually reinforcing the e eastern side here. So we should do okay. Should do all right. The fall of Warsaw is good. Oh, hello. That's not good. Uh, that's not good either. Um, we'll deal with that. Which is a moment, and let's see what we got here. Ooh, we lost seven subs, not ideal. Ooh, sunk some enemy ship, that's good. Uh, there was one gigantic naval battle over here, if I still... Uh, oh, so we lost 24 subs, or 24 destroyers. We lost, we destroyed 55 destroyers. Five battle cruisers, nine battleships, nine light cruisers, four heavy cruisers, and a couple other things too, so that's actually really fantastic. Um, overall. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we're doing alright! We're do actually doing okay so far. Of course, we did break their ciphers, which did help. Um, and you know what? We should probably actually do this too. Because this is the biggest obstacle that we have currently. 
and making sure that we do all right here. So, yeah. Giant colossal war. And there goes Poland. Oh, hello. Oh, I guess we're fighting Ukraine. Well, oh, I thought Ukraine was independent. Oh, I guess they are independent. Yeah, it's not good. It's not ideal. Uh, you probably won't be able to win, but that's alright. We do have quite a few planes, though. 1,300 versus 13,000? Huh. you think that if they had more, they'd be doing better. But then again, we do have jet aircraft we are using, so that's very, very good for us. It does land with this Valonia. It's very nice, yes. Ah, good. Casualties, 126,000. 1.1 million. Very, very nice. Um, we're losing quite a few things here. Naval bombers, of course. Not ideal. So we do have some naval bombers. Jet naval bombers. I will add to that. Manpower is being drained like crazy. Oh my god. Oh, uh, we might go to all adult serve. We'll see. Just a little bit. Because we have to deal with this threat. We gotta deal with this threat. We got a lot of threats to deal with. South Africa's gonna be a giant big old problem, but you know. I wonder if they're gonna capitulate once these guys actually die. I don't think they can keep it up. I mean Berlin's a freaking frontline city, so. Oh, do we not get the Netherlands? Oh, I guess not. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, look at that. We destroyed four carriers in a battleship of two and 18 destroyers. Didn't lose. We only lost an improved sub hull. I love it. Convoys, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Hey, it's almost an encirclement here. Not quite. Fall of Berlin. It's all over but for the German Empire now. That actually went way better than I thought it would. We've only 4%. Oh, worse, but we did get nuked actually twice. We got uh, nuked in Zagreb, so, and I think we got nuked in Skopje. Yeah, we did. We got nuked here too, so which really sucked for us. But you know, whatever. It wasn't core Italian territory, core Roman territory, I should really say. We the worst part plus five percent. That's actually kind of fantastic. Come on, we took Berlin. How much more can the German Empire handle? They're taking one and a half million casualties from us. I really don't want to go to Africa. Deutsch, Middle Africa, please. And the collapse of the Reich's Pact. Oh, do we need to get... Ooh, we gotta get these guys, too. That shouldn't take too long, though. Oh. So who else are we at war with, then? Deutsch, Middle Africa, the German Empire. Give it a little bit more time. We'll see what happens. Shell dies. Very nice. Hello. Okay, then. Very nice. I'll take all the like all this stuff. It's fine. Nope. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even though we destroyed a crap ton of your ships, it's all right. I'll take it all anyways. The fall of Gibraltar. Hey, look at that. We're still at war. Deutsche Middle Africa. Well, y'all, we're going to Africa. Oh, we're at peace. Oh, do we need to get those guys too? God dang it. Well, it ain't over yet. I thought it would be. We need Brabant and Holland. Svelen and Ostlinit. Jutland. Zeeland. Small and Svelen. Why do we need all up here? Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, we're not, we're not the Roman Empire. Well, we are, but we're not quite just Roman Romans. We're the Roman Domans. Um, so we need Svelen, which is, makes sense. Ostland it? Is it over here too? Oh god dang it. 85 days, that's not too bad. But we're gonna deal with that a little bit more. Well, at this point, we're pretty Roman. Um yeah, the Russian Labor League or Republic, I think, lost or something to the Empire of Japan, so now they own a giant chunk of Siberia. But we're still doing organized Pan-Europa. Our warrior spirit has triumphed. Over the age of darkness, and we have accomplished what others claim was impossible. As the doubters stare on the slack jawed, we shall restructure Europa so the best words of the Aryan Romans may have uh, run their respective nations and destroy modern influence while remaining loyal to the Emperor in Rome. May consumers and finally dying Europa live forever. Fantastic. Oh, Legion will declare attack on modern institutions for some time. The Pan Europa organized, the P King's Passy. Um, the great pain of the Legion, and especially to his close political ally, Julius Evola, King Victor Emmanuel III, has passed on due to a heart attack. He'll be entombed in the capital while his son, Umberto II, takes the throne with Evola remaining his advisor. Long live Umberto II. Let's see if he actually has Umberto here. Ah, oh, look at this guy. No benefits, for though, but it is what it is. The age of modernism and chaos is dead and gone. 
as Europe is no longer run by their slaves or merchants, but by its best. Our victory is fought only to eternal wealth of all our remaining foes. Uh, trembling of the Senate Legion of the Remains, fanatically loyal, of part of the New Order. What should we call ourselves? Pan Europe. The Aryan Roman Imperium. Unite the West under current banner. Roman Empire is alright. I like Pan Europa. That's the one that seems like we should have been going so. Oh! Now we're a nice, sickly, pukey, yellowish, gr slightly greenish color. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Pan Europa. Fantastic. But I think I'll end it there. I've played this for about three extra hours off screen in total, and I'm kind of tired. So, um, regardless, hey, I hope you enjoyed the campaign. Getting Julius and Evola was a lot of fun. Oh, bring forth the new world. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everyone look at that. That's god awful for us. But we have no political power or stability, apparently. So, it is what it is. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that finished very quickly. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. In another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Pan Europa rest of your day.